All right, <clears throat> so now we're going to put on the thumb. Um, what we're going to do with the thumb is we are pretty much going to do the same same type of thing. Um, basically, go to the side view here and end it in a cylinder again. And we're just going to make that. And I made it over here and it's just jumped over. So. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is zoom in onto the thumb here. I need six sides on the thumb. I don't need as many joints, probably three or four. Um, Rotate it out like so, make it a whole lot thinner. And let's start out with something along the lines of like so, yeah, roughly. Actually, we will, yeah, we'll go like this. So then, what we're going to do is with the thumb, uh, it's, I'm not a big fan of realism. So, all right. So, first thing that you're going to do with the thumb is you're going to rotate it probably about I don't know, twenty degrees something like so. And the reason we're doing that is the thumb is actually on a natural axis. It actually rotates this way and it rotates a little bit down. Okay. And then so what you want to do, we're not going to rotate it down yet, but what you want to do is let's first um, let's convert this to an edible poly. Let's go in, let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's cut and with this one, we're going to cut the corners like so. Like so. And just move this up and pull this out. All right. From the top, we're going to scale that in a little bit. And the thumb gets a little bit naturally smaller here. And then there's a joint knuckle. And then this is the, the confusing part. Okay, so what you got to do is we're going to take this and move it all the way over here. But before we do that, we're going to actually rotate it to match this. And I'm going to also scale it in one direction so that we have this like so. And then what you can do is grab the bottom pull the bottom down actually before we do that uh, yeah before we do that we're gonna grab these and it's okay to rotate it and just move that down like so so it's something along the lines like so and I can quick slice this real quick just to add another set of geometry for top zoom in and that quick slice here I'm going to basically move that out to be a joint so we're just kind of flushing this out here and let's grab these and just pull
that like so. Alright, now we gotta make the hole here. And this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna enter isolation mode, control Q or Alt Q, I'm sorry. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we gotta cut this in here to basically make it. So the first thing that you want to do is we're gonna select only one of these, hit cut, and we're gonna cut from this corner on up to here. Cut back down like so, like so. All right, and let's go under here. Cut from this down to the top, and so let's take these and delete these, and then pretty much just attach. Attach my thumb. Let's go to the vertex mode. Start. And actually, this one we're going to target weld real quick. So, quick target weld and target weld to uh, I like that. Let's snap, collapse that. Oops. Again, I keep forgetting my. Delete that. Alright, let's try and target weld that again. Alright, and then these we can target weld if you want. It doesn't really matter. Let's get that middle one in here. We're just going to move this inward. And let's collapse that one together. And then collapse these together. All right. So let's move this inward. This one we're going to now see right here. What you've got is you're going to have this thumb, and you want this line to come up into here. So let's collapse this one, this, and move that like so. And now we've got quads here. And let's cut this one to this and that's going to give us quads here a quad here and then we can actually go into the edge and backspace that one for now um, so that's like that's good and then we're going to grab this one. Let's check what's going on here. Well, we got a spray vertice, so we just want to delete that vertice there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I want to pull the palm out a little bit more okay so this this part of the palm basically comes in and moves somewhat like so so this is our palm right here all right so what we want to do well first we got to fix all these five sides um, so to fix the five sides um, a simple way to do the middle ones is pretty much just to 
cut like so. And that creates a five side there. And let's cut all the way around here. Now you notice I'm getting distracted here, so I'm going to shape this one out a little bit more. Because the palm is thicker than the side of the hand there, so let's cut. Let's cut there. Okay, so that gives us five sides or four sides all the way. And then to get the four sides in the middle, let's <coughs> hold on. All right, sorry about that. Um, so then what we're going to do is we are just going to for top, zoom, oops, zoom. Okay, so this this ridge around here, you can also um, you when you have more geometry to play with, you would ridge these up and basically create knuckles out of them. Um, your foreground knuckles, or your first index knuckle, and your middle finger knuckle. Uh, uh, is generally bigger, not that big, but generally it they, they that pops up a little bit more, and then you'll have kind of an arch. So these three uh, four vertices usually right here kind of come down a little bit. Okay, so then let's just do a real quick polygon check because once everything's in quads, it's so much easier to. Um, uh, once things are in quads, it's very easy to go in and um, check. All right, so right now we've got one, two. Okay, so we've got two here, and then all in the middle. Those are good. Um, so actually, this is really simple to fix. So the first one, let's go here is we cut these like so right down the middle and uh, I'll show you that in a second how we shape that up so we get rid of those two I'm going to just do a real quick numeric one again um, this here didn't need to be there so let's go back to all right, and then here, this this one is a really simple one to fix. All we're going to do is we're just going to cut this, and that might just have gotten collapsed by accident. But we're going to cut that in here, and then just delete these two. Backspace, not delete. Sorry. All right. So while I'm while I'm putting here, these you can actually pull backwards. Um, These right here, what you want to do is you want to pull backwards and then get rid of the middle one and pull them backwards again. Okay, and then of course you can adjust. See now here is where I didn't. This is where we need to do the five sides, but you can kind of tell. All right, like so. And then these will come down like this. And that'll help pop your knuckle a little bit more too. Okay. And again, that knuckle is still pretty big. So let's just bring it like so. All right. So I had some more. Let's go back into 
check my numerical here. All right, so I have these right here. Now, this is actually a really easy one to solve. What you want to do is you want to cut this down like so, down like so, like this, and like so. All right, you can go in and kill this one and this one backspace those and now this gives you a little bit more geometry to kind of man manipulate the hand here you can shape it inward um, if need be you can round the palm in and out all right um, and this is again a really low version a low poly version you know I would add in if you're you're going high poly with this you know you start adding in more detail in this ridge here and then you also want to add more detail going in this ridge here um, but so there's that I'm just counting verts now go by numeric let's do greater than four um, we have some just issues here it looks like uh, this one not that big a deal let's collapse this and actually let's yeah, let's just collapse this one here. And uh, what other one did we have here? Um, looks like we have an issue here. Uh, this one looks to be like a many multi-sided one here. So we can actually just go into the edge mode here and here and uh, collapse this. Now normally we made that little little piece there and uh, we made that for, for the simple reason of making quads, but sometimes you wind up backtracking and uh, taking care of all your stuff. So then we're pretty much down to the thumb. And the thumb is most likely from the stray vertice. Nope, not, that's not it. Uh, probably this one right here. Yep. See if you look here and here, collapse those two, and I would guess problem solved. So let's do a double take. And there is my low poly hand to play with. Now, um, you know, depending on how you're modeling and stuff, I would add more geometry in here. I would most likely do, uh, you know, depending on your poly counts and stuff, I would most likely go in here and I would um, not loop, ring this around and then actually connect connect the middle piece in there and that's going to give you some nice geometry there and then I would use this too and I would uh, connect that in here um, and you see how that you have a nice edge loop going from the thumb down to the palm you can add more geometry in there as well and so that's pretty much the hand in a nutshell. Um, and then what you're going to do is exit isolation mode and go in um, really quickly. And then this, this is a, a nice trick because we've scaled this. What we want to do is I want to actually hit shift and extrude and we can actually scale this inward a little bit and so then you'll get that nice area there and then let's just move this up closer and grab the arm and attach attach the hand and again you know if the hand is too big too small the hand should be basically the length of the head since we haven't modeled the head yet um, we can kind of uh, flip that around in there now another thing before you before you uh, attach make sure that the thumb is the right way if you look I've got the wrong hand in here so actually let's undo this attach let's grab this and let's uh, see if we can just mirror this 
and no clone, and we just rotate it around again. Like so, and let's move it like so. Now let's grab this, attach it again, and go into the vertices here. And this is where we would target weld because you don't want to conform the, the geometry to Actually, and I kind of screwed that up a little bit, and that's not too bad. Um, let's grab this, raise it up a little bit before we target weld everything together. All right, and then pretty much target weld it all together. And you've got your low poly. hand. Now you do notice there are some spots in here where um, it doesn't look like it's going to collapse well. Um, it's like we added extra geometry in there. So collapse as many as possible. And let's collapse that. And as you can see here, um, we do have some extra geometry in here, but that's okay, because what we can do is we can simply create, go to our polygon mode, create, and let's just snap these four here. There's one. two, let's jump over on this side, collapse that like so, and it looks like we're going to have to do the same thing over here, I'm going to just move this piece back a little bit so I can kind of reach in there, and Polygon again, create, oh, let's create these four faces here. And there is our hand attached to the rest of our mesh. Alright, and it looks okay for, for what I want. And then uh, pretty much we're set to go. Next thing I'll do is the head. Thanks much.